It's very much a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu, right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and delighted to be joined, as always, by Stuart Robson. And it's a quarter-final second leg battle in the UEFA Champions League. It's Real Madrid versus Ike Athens. Well, the first leg was a really good game, Derek. It had action at both ends, it was an even contest, and it's set up perfectly for this second leg. Hopefully we're not disappointed. starting 11 for Real Madrid well as you can see the centre forward drops into midfield and the wide players stay high up the pitch when played well it creates a numerical advantage in midfield and makes it difficult for the back line to know who to pick up Quarter-final, second leg, commences. Well, they need to get tighter, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Benzema takes it forward now. And in with a real chance. And a goal! And now they're in control of the situation. Can they see this through? As you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Plenty of goals if you look at the aggregate. 3-2 here. They stopped them in their tracks. Galanopoulos. Or Berlin Pineda. Mukudi with it. Pineda. Might really be able to trouble them here. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Take it short. Oh dear, not a great effort, was it? Giving the ball to the opposition that time.
And a chance to whip it in here. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. Useful looking ball. Vinicius. Spot on with that tackle. Paulo Fernandes. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Well, they've lost possession of the ball. And he might be through here. Well, they've solved the problem for now, but let's see. Course. Eder Militao. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Well, now he's walking on eggshells, you might say. Next time it'll be yellow. Can he put it away? And a goal! And I'll tell you what, that gives them a bit of a cushion now. set up play well it's a great little back here isn't it and from there he never looked like missing that's a lovely goal goals galore on aggregate 4-2 is the lead so one minute of stoppage time that's what the officials have said and that is that half time here on the spanish capital Second and decisive leg of this Champions League quarter-final, and the second half begins. Well, not hard to read that pass. Vinicius Junior. And there to intervene. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, showing excellent vision. Is this the moment? A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. But I think the defending is poor. How can the goalkeeper be left so exposed with two players running at him? Mind you, it's still a great team goal. Two on aggregate. <laughs> Make 
makes his way in field. Chance maybe. Well, they can keep possession now. Takes the shot. Putting his body on the line. And that is offside. Careless in possession. Chances on. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. Garcia. And he could really get at the opposition. Can he convert? Well, decent save there. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Well, not deemed to be a bookable offence, but still it probably entered the referee's mind. Benzema. The ball with Luka Modric. Well, it could be on for him here. Karim Benzema in the thick of things. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. And fired over by Kroos. A wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward. Making sure it didn't get past him. In position. And bruising the woodwork. Well, from that range, he should be scoring. I think that's a big miss. Tom van Baert. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Wonderful block. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. And that's it, the final whistle. And the hosts will go through. Well, it was never really in doubt, was it? Over the two legs, they were by far the better team. They'll take some stopping, that's for sure. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, I thought...